Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I am here today with the new pre-cuts quilt boxes um, for February. And if you recall, I received the very first box, and um, the boxes are curated by Diana, who is one of our friends here on YouTube. And she had asked me last month to review the boxes and actually last month I think the Modern Stash Builder box is the only one that they had available. And now they have the Modern Stash Builder box and they also have the Classic box. Um, so there's two and she did send me these for free to go ahead and review for you guys. And um, stay tuned till the end of the video because I got a, a little surprise for you. So the first one I'm going to open is the Classic box since that's the new one. Um, for February and let's get this one open. And here it is inside. It's very, it's very full. Um, and the little card is on the side. Pre-cuts uh, quilt box classic. We want to thank you for subscribing and trust our shop. It's our goal that you're always happy with what you get in your subscription box. So please let us know if you're satisfied with what you had received in your box. Your opinion is very important to us and we take very seriously your comments, suggestions, or criticism. Okay, and oh, I remember now. So this is the box with the Lori Holt um, stuff inside and I was, I'm so excited to open this up and see what's included. So let's put this aside for a second because you know I like being surprised. Um, okay, so if I open this up, oh, I do see um, we get a spool of Orfil thread and it's the silk finish, which is really nice. I love that. And there's some other stuff on the side. Oh, oh, this is, what is this? Okay, it says, it's all tied up. Okay, so look, look at what it looks like. Oh, it's scissors. I can see scissors in there. Okay, hold up. They're called squizzers. Okay, first of all, kudos to whoever came up with that because that's such an event word. Um, it's, they're four and one eighths inch. Oh, I see. Okay, so look it. You squeeze it, the top comes off, and then it's the nice, sharp scissors that I love. They, they usually call them like embroidery scissors or whatnot, but I love these scissors. Oh my goodness, it's a workout too. Whoa. Very cool. And then all you got to do is squeeze them again, stick them back inside, and then it's all protected. And it's got a little lanyard type thing and everything. Cool! I love it. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh! The Quilters Candy Box candy that I was missing. There it is. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. And you know i got to have some chocolate. I wanted it. Okay. <laughs> We've got this box. Oh my goodness, you guys. This box is maze balls. Oh my goodness. Okay. I want to tell you guys that each box this is probably very unprofessional. These boxes, each one is $55. That's the flat fee each month for each one. And you might be thinking, gosh, that seems like a lot of money. I don't want to be the first one to tell you but quilting is expensive. I, I don't know if you knew. You should probably think about that right now. <laughs> because I have to tell you, quilting is expensive. I don't, no matter where you are, I mean, there are certain places, obviously, I was just in Sydney, that are quite a bit more expensive than others, but no matter where you are, it's expensive. It just is. And for these ladies to put these boxes together, um, I mean, you know, it, we just have to face that. It's expensive. So for us to like have um, boxes like the Sew Sampler around, you know, that's a, that's a rare thing. So I, this is, I mean, I'm telling you what, I'm just loving the box. And this is so Lori Holt. This is so Lori Holt. Um, look, the cans, the, the canning jars all the way around. That's so Lori Holt. And then she's got all this stuff on the bottom. 
Yes, You Can, Table Runner by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet. Oh, that's the kit. There you go. So this is what's inside. Everything for making this, um, this table runner. Oh my, okay, so here we go. We're going to open this up. I don't want to mess up the box because you know, okay. It's got a little, it's got a little metallic clasp, which is nice. You open it up and there's um, all the stuff. So let's take everything out. Oh, it's Farm Girl Vintage. I love how everything's inside. So you've got a charm pack of Farm Girl Vintage. Set this down. And then we've got um, some of this fabric. I'm really not sure what everything is for right at this moment because I'm not looking at the pattern. Uh, and then we've got quite a bit of this gorgeous gingham. And then we have, oh my gosh, like a whole lot of this. That is really pretty. And then the pattern on the bottom. And, and they just, it basically just tells you how to make each jar and then how to put everything together, like in the different ways. And bada boom, bada bang, got yourself a table runner. And it's all in this lovely little box, which I love. I love that. Oh my goodness. Like anytime they do stuff like that, I love it. Everything fits nice, nice. All right, so I'm going to put that back in. There's still more stuff in this box, guys. Okay, so we have that from Lori Holt. Oh, I'm so in love. And then we have another piece of chocolate. I'm not going to eat it right now, but I'm telling you right now, hello, kudos. She's got, she's like up there right now. Okay, so... We have one of uh, Lori Holt's Cute Cuts mats, and it's two-sided, so you get pink on one side, blue on the other. Um, it is just one. It's just you get two sides, right? And I've already got at least one up here. <laughs> um, so now have another one. And the last thing that's in the box is one of the Cute Cuts Lori Holt rulers. And... I, you know, I'll be honest, I like I always kind of freak out because if you look really close, like the pink doesn't go all the way um, to the mark there, which is which is half an inch. So it's like the the mark here, the thick black or blue line, I'm not really sure, um, is half an inch. And then, but like the little pink part doesn't go, like the pink shaded part doesn't go all the way to the half inch. So I'll be honest, I'm really not sure why she does that. And not every ruler is exactly the same. Like I've had one that was blue and the blue part did go all the way to the line. So I, I'm really not sure. I do think that these rulers are adorable. <laughs> Um, but I do tend to stick with creative cuts, I have to say. Um, but very adorable, and I love anything, everything, Lori Holt. I just think she can practically do no wrong. I love her. Um, so that's everything that we have gotten in the classic box. And oh my goodness, I can't believe that Diana sent this to me for free. This, I mean, I'm just like blown away. Um, I love everything. I like every single thing in this box. Okay, but don't forget, we have the second one. So this box is the um, Modern Maker box, and um, it's a stash builder box. It's got, I think it's 14 fat quarters inside. It's either 14 or 16, and um, it's $55 as well. That includes the shipping. Uh, so let's get it open and see what we got for February. Okay, she has this um, little card inside that tells you about the fabric designer and the um, pattern designer and the value of the box down below um, and just like a little newsletter type thing. Um, okay. So the pattern for this month is Road to Jarbo, designed by Mora de Carvalho. That's the same lady from last month, and I, I, I felt terrible I couldn't say her name last month, but <laughs> um, there it is, and there is the lovely pattern. 
and it looks like um, they have they they will tell you the instructions for the quilt in two sizes, 48 inch by 60 inch, um, which I I think that might be uh, a twin size, and then the queen size, which is 96 by 108. Um, so there is the pattern, and then after that. We've got just a giant box of fat quarters. I mean, that's really, that's it. Everything in here is just a big box of fat quarters. It's amaze balls. Um, I'm going to show you each one. And all of the fabric is by, I think it's Maureen Cracknell. Yes, Maureen Cracknell, and she designs for um, art gallery fabrics. Oh my goodness, there is more candy in here. I'm telling you, Diana, you don't want my heart. We got more um, thread, which is the silk finish. When the Orphil has, um, oh, this is Mettler. It's not Orphil, it's Mettler. Uh, so this is Mettler thread, which I think is also really great. Um, I've used Mettler many, many times, and it's a silk finish. So I have now um, a white and a little cream. Love it. Those are like the best colors, you know. Um, more candy. Super, super stoked by the Caramel Roca. Thank you. I love you, Diana. You have no idea. Wait till a girl's heart is chocolate. Well, most girls. Um, okay, so let me just kind of push this down to the side so I have more room for fat quarters. And, okay, so here we go. Um, this is Maureen Cracknell, and does it say what the collection is? These, uh, it's 16 fat quarters of Sunkissed by Maureen Cracknell from Art Gallery Fabrics. Okay. Here is the first one. And I will show you all these fabrics. 16 fat quarters, guys. That's, that's very generous. It's rare to get boxes where you get just like tons of fabric. You know what I mean? There's the second one. And you guys know, um, you know, if you follow me, then you know a few facts about me. First of all, I love um, art gallery fabrics, fabrics, because um, they feel, I mean, they feel like silk, I have to tell you. They're just so soft. Um, but for some reason, like most of the designs just are not really my thing. And I will admit that, you know, there's a, there's a couple of these that I'm really, you know, I'm really not that, they don't strike me, but I'm trying to get better at that. Um, as you, if you've seen my video of my visit to Australia where I went to Material Obsession and got to walk around Kathy's shop with her, I'm trying to get much more bold with, or are just not afraid to be bold with using different things and the way that they blend together. I'm really trying. So here's the next one, and I actually really do like this one. There's, there's nothing for me to have to do to uh, get me to like this one. I like it a lot. Um, and then this one, um, it's funny because I'm really not all that much into the florals, but for some are the, not the florals, well florals, you guys know that part. This one I actually do like. And I'm really not a big fan of mustard, but something about this, I mean the way that this one in particular looks, it sort of makes me think about, um, remember when there were, when you would be able to get uh, those velvet paintings or whatever, and it just, it looks like it's three-dimensional for some reason, like to me, like when I'm looking at it, especially in a camera, it looks three-dimensional. I just, I think it's great. I like this one. I, I, there are certain things where I'll see it, and I just can't believe that I actually like it, but I do. I mean... And so I'm liking more of this collection than I thought I would, to be honest. I'm loving this. I love the movement. Let me open it up more. The movement in this piece of fabric is just gorgeous. I mean, look at look at the way it, it moves. I just, I am actually really appreciating this line. Um, those first two fabrics that I showed you, I have to admit that I really don't like them that much, but on the surface. Um, but I can see how this line just... It all completely fits together so well. And I just, this piece of fabric right here, I, I just, I love this. 
I really do. Okay. Ah, so the next one is again that flower, but it's in this really this lovely color. I love this color. This red with the pink. Oh, gorgeous. Really gorgeous. I really do love that. I could see this being like wallpaper. I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I think because I really don't like wallpaper. So for me, like if when I find a, a pattern that really looks good on wallpaper, this is this would be really pretty, I think. In, in a small, you know, not, not huge everywhere, but I think if there was like a small area um, where I was trying to fill in with this color, oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Um, and then we have this um, red with a white dot. Pretty simple. Nice little blender. And then we have this navy with a red dot. You see how that red, like, so, it pops so much that it almost looks like fuchsia or something. But if you look really close, it is, it is the red. I mean, it looks... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is fuchsia. I don't know. I just, I love it. I love how it's popping out of that blue. Okay. Oops. Okay. And again, another one that, you know, doesn't really speak to me as much as the others. Um, this type of flower thing, it's just not my thing. Um, but as I was saying, I, I can totally see the value of it with all of the other fabrics. You know what I mean? I do see that. I mean, you know, I'm not blind. <laughs> it's just this one would not draw me to the collection. That's all I'm saying. Just because it's it's just not my typical thing. That's all. Simple as that. Everybody's got, you know, preferences and things that'll draw them in. Now this one... <laughs> Okay, I have to say, when I was looking at this one, I honestly am having a hard time seeing where it fits. Um, I, I, you tell me what you think. You guys, more of you are more modern than I am. Um, so I do like it. I like this this fabric, the pattern. I just really don't see how it fits. Do you know what I mean? Am I? Is it just me? Is it? Am I crazy? <laughs> it could just be I'm crazy. Um, I don't know. I mean, the colors fit. But I don't see where the palm trees come in and the beach. I don't know. I just, anyway, it is, it is pretty though. I do like it in general. In fact, it's one of the ones I actually do like out of the, <laughs> you know. Um, okay. And then this one, I have to say, I wasn't too enamored and then it kind of grew on me. It's, it's kind of growing on me. Um, I, I'm just, I think that I got to see... Uh, a bit more of what Kathy was doing with her um, fabrics with Material Obsession. And um, just her patterns and how she thinks and actually just goes way outside the box and it works. Um, and this just brought me more around, or she brought me more around to this print, I would think. Um, very, It's very nice. Okay, and then we have this one, which is gorgeous. I think I have to open it up more. I love that medallion. We have this yellow one with the, with the mustard uh, print. And then we have another color coming up next with this same print on it. So let me just get that. Then it's this coral with a lighter print and hopefully in this light you're being able to see that coral that's really pretty color okay and then the next one oh my goodness I'm just in love with it now this next one I can see how this one might go with that beach print but they're kind of like to me, they don't really go with the whole rest of the stuff. I don't really, I just don't get it, but I love it. I do love it. Look at those happy little suns. I love this one. 
It's so fun. I love this one. Okay. And then the next one, I mean, goodness, guys, we're still looking at fabric. Um, yeah, this one's not really a fave to me either, I have to admit. Um, it, it's, it's too geometric. It's too... I don't know. This would definitely never draw me. It goes with the rest of the collection, though. I can see that. Um, it's just, it's definitely not an event pattern. I just, I would never pick this up. I just wouldn't. Okay, and then the last one is, um, I really like this one, too. It is um, sort of like a taupe with the coral and blue flowers. And that's very nice. Okay, if you have stuck around till the end of the video, um, you get to learn that I am doing a giveaway for Diana. She is going to give away to one of you guys the Modern Stash Builder box with all of Maureen Cracknell's lovely fabrics and the pattern um, by Maura de Carvalho, who, oh, geez, I am so sorry I'm butchering your name, hon. Um, but you get this lovely pattern, all of this lovely fabric. You get the thread <laughs> inside and some candy. Um, so very, very exciting. I'm going to have that all set up so that um, you can go and join um, or enter for the giveaway. And I think that what I'll do is I'll run it for a week and we will pull a name on uh, March 1st to see who wins that. And I'm going to, I'll give your name to Diana and she'll make sure that you get a box ASAP. Um, so anyway, there we go. We've got both of her boxes and I think that they are both amazeballs. There's something for everyone. I mean, you're either going to love that classic box or you're going to really love this modern stash builder box. Um, let me know what you think down below. Uh, I am reviewing these boxes for Diana so that she can kind of get some feedback from all of you about how you feel about the boxes. And we'd love to hear anything you have to say. So I will... Um, Get that giveaway all set up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.